Thank you, Sam, and welcome to the Saturday Night Showdown. Now, Keir Starmer announced plans to restrict the internet this week. After a deluge of criticism of the government's handling of the riots, he's going to revisit the Online Safety Act to ensure that social media platforms police posts that are legal but harmful and fake news. Fake news is going to be illegal. I hope Labour are first in the queue for the gulags. Keir said that one in a thousand women have a penis. And David Lammy says men can grow a cervix. Just Is it transphobic to say only women have a cervix, David? I don't know if it's transphobic, but it, it's not um, accurate, Nick. I mean, obviously, you, it's probably the case that only uh, that trans women don't have ovaries, but a cervix, I understand, is something that you can have uh, following various procedures. Someone can have a penis. <laughs> Nick, I'm not... <laughs> I don't think we can conduct this debate with, you know... Sorry, have I, I, I get offended this, you in some No, 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 it's just... Uh, no, 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 I just... I don't know if David Lammy thinks he's got a cervix, but if he's in the bathroom with a little mirror looking up there, I don't know what he's finding. Uh, also, Nick Lowell's, the head of extremist group Hope Not Hate, spread a dangerous rumour that Muslim women were being targeted by far-right thugs with acid attacks. He said, reports are coming in of acid being thrown out of a car window at a Muslim woman in Middlesbrough. Now, the police denied that this had happened, but Nick left this dangerous misinformation up on Twitter, full in the knowledge that Muslim mobs were roaming parts of Britain looking for white men to attack. And lo and behold, here's a Muslim man clearly incited by this false rumour. Our fathers have come from a different country to here. We were born here. We are British, Pakistanis. We are Muslims. We will stand here. We will fight against EDL. We will fight our ground. Our innocent Muslim sisters are getting acid attacked. Most are getting breaking. But everyone should be here. F the EDL. Lovely stuff. And how is harm defined for harmful but legal posts? Inciting violence is obviously already illegal. Keir's plans would target things like posts encouraging eating disorders or causing offence. This could include horse riding tutorials as horse riding can be physically dangerous, or it could include martini recipes as alcohol is harmful and is linked to depression. We already have a highly policed internet. In 2017, the Times found that 3,395 arrests had been made for Section 127 offences, which is used for cases of online abuse. The reason so much misinformation was flying around before the riots was because the government didn't tell us what was happening. We still don't know any possible motive. And instead of acknowledging people's concerns or reassuring people that he was going to do everything possible to keep their children safe, Keir instead turned around and smeared everyone at the protests as far right, which is definitely misinformation. Now, I'm joined tonight by Andrew Eborn and Ben Adams. Andrew, you're a lawyer, so I am. I'm going to start with you, because a key, a key principle of the law should be that it, it, it shouldn't be easy to accidentally break the law. You can't accidentally burgle a house, for example. <laughs> but Keir and the, the government were warning that, you know, watch out what you post, because you might accidentally break the law. Yes, lawful but unwise. Maybe that was something else on that sort of basis. <laughs> um, you have to work on the, on the basis that everything has to be transparent. It has to be very easy to understand. And the optics, as they say in politics, on this are horrendous. Yeah. It's got to be freedom of speech, but not freedom from consequences. If you clamp down on everything, it's going to be absolute nonsense. As you know, I present the series Fake or Fact. Yeah. They could get rid of it, you know, get rid of fake news altogether, and work on that sort of basis. But you also have to determine what makes sense. What is fake news? Because sometimes it gets revealed much, much later on. And if you put an obligation on these various media platforms, the social media platforms, to enforce it, it's going to be quite a heavy obligation. Yeah. And actually, it's going to be completely unworkable. Yeah, and also there was uh, issues such as, I mean, the Hunter Biden laptop story was, mm. was smeared as, as fake news, like the, the Democrats and the social media platforms colluded to bury it and classify it as fake, classify it as fake news, uh, even though it was real and it could have really you know, swung the election. I think nowadays you just don't know what's real at all. You, can't, you literally can't trust anything. And then the idea that people are sort of walking past a newspaper or even reading a newspaper at this point, no one reads the newspapers, <laughs> but the idea that they're doing that and then suddenly going, right, oh my God, I've got to get to Greg's. It's just... <laughs> It's nonsense. Yeah. Like, it's or or looking at Twitter. Looking yeah, at people yeah. who are saying, oh, Andrew Tate is stirring up this, uh, you know, this, this evil, evil mob. It's like nobody's looking at Andrew yeah. Tate and being like, well, there's a dependable source yeah. for information. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just I don't know why you would look at Twitter and then suddenly go, yeah, this is 100% uh, right. 
yeah. and, or anything really. Tw- uh, yeah, Twitter, well, the, the, Facebook. The, the, biggest, the biggest problem is this. It was Channel 3 Now, you might remember, that started this wrong rumour about the murder of these three little girls at a Taylor Swift party. Right. And Channel 3 Now, it's still up there. People said it was a Russian state. It's not there based in America. They've only got 3,418 followers, so they're not that big. Yeah. But they wrongly claim, they put out a post saying it was an Islamic particular person. They even had a photo of somebody. And that misinformation mm. is what caused a lot of the upset. So you're absolutely right. We need to look at that mischief. And the thing about the law, in, in order to get clarity, you need to about knowingly do something. Yep. If you're knowingly putting out information which is likely to cause a riot or men's, rare. or men's rare, look at you with your men's rare or women's rare or trans rare, <laughs> you, can, you can have all of that. But it's exactly that. You have your actress rares, which is your actual deed, and the men's rare, which is your guilty mind. Mm. Uh, and you have to have both to make it work. Yeah. And I think we often have guilty minds, but looking at, uh, you know, because you're, you're a comedian, Ben. I am at, indeed. Remind him. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> funny you should say that. Yeah. Looking at fake news, I mean, so much satire could be classed as fake news. Yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes we say something, and obviously we're, we're British, so we've got this ironic deadpan, you know, we, yeah. with the face, the, the, the surface level isn't, the, isn't what we're actually seeing. I'm so scared to be ironic in any way <laughs> now, because people are just like, oh my God, he thinks that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's just madness. Yeah, it's, um, it's just very hard to sort of say anything. But, um, I mean, what you were saying there about the misinformation with those yes. three little girls and stuff, mm. it's like, I don't really think it was the misinformation that made people riot. I think people were already expecting something to happen. And, and you know, the guy was Welsh, born and bred, and, 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 you know, he had a... I think he wore a Welsh flag every day, and that's fine. But... Probably um, one of the most Welsh people I've ever... Do you know, definitely, yeah. definitely. And, um, because five has been... This, 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 gog, gog, he was saying that all the time. Yeah, they... He was always that. I think that was pretty good Welsh. I, I was very, oh, that was Welsh, was that it? Was I thought it was brilliant. I, I, I love it. And, I was um, going to get you a glass of water. Hey. <laughs> but no, I, I think that there was already a precedent set of people just angry anyway. And, yeah. you know, it was just sort of the straw that broke the camel's yeah. back. But, so but it, it, it is, however, abhorrent that oh, people yeah, hijacked yeah. the murder of three little girls yeah. to go and nick a new telly. There's oh, no relevance at as, all on that sort of basis. Is it as abhorrent as killing three little girls, though? Probably not. Well, well that's the thing, because there didn't seem to be a lot of capacity for recognition on parts of the left mm. that people were genuinely horrified yes, by this. Yeah. And for, on, on some level, it was worse even than, uh, you know, when, when terrorist bombs go off, because this was a very, um, you know, he did it with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it, it was horrendous. But the families, in answer to your question, the families themselves, they pleaded, please, don't hijack our grief. Yeah, uh, yeah. We don't want you rioting. It's just making it even worse for us. But then people understood. People understood when, you know, BLM happened. And B, the BLM riots were over a criminal in yeah. America who died resisting arrest. And he was a violent criminal. And to be honest... I, I didn't see that as, as, you know, as appalling as these, these killings. That was awful. And, yeah, it's just, I think, like, like you say, yeah, the families pleaded, but everyone had so much pent-up anger that they yeah. just had to get out somewhere. Obviously, it wasn't a good way to do it, but I, I'm not surprised by what happened sort of thing. I can see why they were angry, but, yeah. Didn't go but, but it's also the language that's used in the media. People call it a protest. It's not a protest, it's a riot. Mm. And, and you're talking about far right, well, right so far. You've got to work on there's something there somewhere. Yeah. Um, you're, you've got to work on the basis. What it is, sometimes there are just thugs out there looting. Other people, they've got a legitimate concerns about what's yeah, happening and yeah. so on and so forth. And it's a tinderbox waiting to happen. Yeah. But there, and this is the problem. You've got to separate all of them. The reality is there's some horrible things going on at the moment. We need to be able to clamp down on these sort of things as appropriate. Mm. But we need to act responsibly. And also, we have to act very, very quickly. You, you compare what's happening to Tia Hakir, mm. you work on that sort of basis, look at what happened at Manchester Airport, for example, yeah. and they're still investigating it. You get the, the drip feed of the video where uh, somebody was apparently stamping on somebody's head. Yeah. Uh, then later on, you've got a bit more of a different video. It's the scuffle beforehand. Mm. And I can tell you, a bit more... And broke her nose. It was horrendous. Yeah. Absolutely horrendous. And a new one's coming out as well with this, um, with, with this pepper spray, which is illegal right. uh, for people to use. And that's going to be more and more charges are coming out. The reality is they've been very slow to charge people, which is why we can talk about it in the media, as opposed to all these people who are appearing in court as a result of the yeah. riots. This is just quickly about, um, so this is why X is so popular with this misinformation stuff, because the media are so slow to get things out and they want to check every source and they want to make sure, you know, so people are turning to X and that's why they will go to any information. Yeah. 
Well, moving on, I've just got to, because uh, we're, we're talking about working class communities being angry and the reasons for the rioting. And I think if the government had worked harder to integrate people and stamped out issues such as grooming gangs instead of ignoring them, then these communities would be much happier with the state of mass immigration. I mean, we can all agree that the rioting, violence and incitement seen over the past weeks has been reprehensible. But has justice been a bit hasty? Some of the sentences handed down seem a little on the harsh side. A 26-year-old man got three years for posts he made online. Now, obviously, incitement to disorder or to violence is appalling, but let's look at the sentences handed out for other crimes. An Islamic teacher was handed a suspended sentence, so no jail time, for abusing an 11-year-old girl because his wife doesn't speak English. Now, Keir may disagree with me, but I think that sexually abusing children is worse than posting nasty things on Facebook. And people are being let out of prison to make space for new arrivals, including this man, Lawson Natty, who was jailed for two years and eight months after being convicted of manslaughter in connection with the machete killing of a 14-year-old schoolboy in Newcastle. Now, Lawson is going to be freed from jail early, just five months after his sentencing. Now, are machete killers less dangerous to society than middle-aged women sharing fake news? A judge has even said that you can be refused bail and locked up for just observing a riot. I mean, never mind the right to protest. In the UK, you no longer have the right to even look at a protest. And with 24-hour courts processing and sentencing in hours, suspects have no time to seek proper legal advice or even think about preparing a defence. I mean, Andrew, do you think there will be appeals because, you know, so, so many of these sentences do seem on the, right. on the heavy side and so, also they, they didn't go through the same sort of process that they normally yeah. do? Well, one of the problems that we have in, in the media is that we're always looking for the headline, so it's clickbait. Mm. And, and so what happens is, you're right, you just look at the sentence. The reason they started to televise the sentencing process is to aid understanding about what that happens. And there's a, something called the Sentencing Council, which has a tariff of different sentences. And it's supposed to be a scientific thing. You're supposed to say... If you take into the consideration all these factors, and is there anything that aggravates it or anything that might mitigate it? And there's, basically you then have that little line of uh, what it is to make it as transparent as possible. But you're right, if you just look at the headlines and compare that with that, it looks abhorrent. Yeah. Um, if you turn around and try and explain what's happened in those particular circumstances, that's the best thing to do. And I always say that sunlight is the best disinfectant. Well, you need to work on that sort of basis. Your must think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, Brilliant. I'm I'm glad you don't work in the kitchen here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, but the, the whole thing about the law, and this is why it's become more and more transparent. The judges, as I say, as opposed to in America, where they wall-to-wall -wall television yeah. about coverage. What we have here, people have to get an artist doing a sketch of somebody. Oh, yeah, you yeah. see, that's really good. I've seen, I've met some of those artists. But you need they're starting to televise the sentencing, TV or not TV. And the reason for that is to try and explain to the public that actually there is a scientific method, if you like, as to how we do those sort of things. Yeah. Um, but trust comes in on foot and leaves on horse. Back. And what you need to work is that sort of principle. Let's restore trust in the justice system, yeah. and you need to make it yeah, work. Just quickly, Ben. I mean, do you think it's just these, uh, you know, sentences that are certainly seen as quite heavy-handed? Do you think it's storing up more resentment for the future and just co going to cause more problems and more riots? Absolutely. It's like you're saying that, but why now? Why don't they do that for other cases that seem a bit more important? This just seems like. I, I mean, I was literally thinking today that just it all just seems rather silly. It's yeah. all so serious, but it's so silly. Yeah. Well.